Well, hello everybody and welcome back to my garage. Uh, today we've got something different today. We've got a wee unboxing. I don't usually do product reviews and I love watching how people spend hours unboxing a product and showing it to you. And what we've got today is the Brule bike dryer. So we'll go through the process of unboxing it, taking all the packaging out and let you see what we've got inside. Right, that's... That's that bit done. I hate unboxings. <laughs> so flipping boring. <laughs> so, what have we got here? What we have is the Brule bike dryer. Um, I've never had one of these before. I've kind of seen people using them and raving about them, saying how good they are, but I've always thought oh, that's a bit of a, a faff, a bit of a luxury, isn't it? But I saw this one on Sports Bike Shop a few weeks ago, and it was on quite a good price. So I thought, you know, that looks quite good. I think I'll have a... I'll buy it, I'll get that. So I did, I have purchased this. This is not with my own money. I have no connections with Sports Bike Shop, but I do like dealing with them because they're absolutely fantastic service. But anyway, this is the one I've got. It's a Brule air dryer. It's the 1900 model. I don't know if it's somewhere. Yeah, it's an MD 1900. They do three different models of it. They do a 1400 model which is similar to this, and a 2400 model. The difference between this and the 1400 is this one has uh, heat as well as uh, cold air drying. The 1400 only has cold air drying. The 2400 model is basically a twin of this. It's, it has hot air drying, but it's got twin turbo turbos, which is really a professional one. This, I find, I've used a couple of times, and it's absolutely brilliant. It's a game changer. So, that's what we're going to talk about today. The Brule motorcycle dryer. Anyway, so, the dryer itself, it comes with a dryer unit. It has an, it's one switch on the top, which is on for cold air, go the opposite way and it gets heat as, and air as well and in the middle position it's off. When it plugs in it's got a, a wee um, circuit breaker so if you're using it outside and it gets wet at all it's going, you're protected from any electrical shocks. It comes with this uh, short hose which connects on to the front of the dryer like so and it has three different nozzles, quite a broad nozzle a medium-sized nozzle, nozzle and quite a, a fine nozzle as well. And they just basically clip on the front. To power it up, quite simple, plug it into an electrical supply. And you can then go away and dry your bike. And I'll show you it kind of working. Turn it on. And like magic, this wee short hose <laughs> really expands right out, so it's really excellent. The bike, I've actually been out on the, the Tiger a few couple of times this weekend, banged a few hundred miles on it, it's now done 600 miles, it's due to go for a service in two weeks time. So it's pretty dirty, so the idea is now is to, I'll take it outside, I'll give it a wash and clean, and then we'll come back to you with the dryer and we'll use the dryer to dry it off and we'll show you how it actually does work in, in practice. And now we're ready to start using the dryer. I just put the medium nozzle on just now. The bike's been washed, it's just ready to now to just dry off. So let's go and do that. We'll use the power and the heat as well. The reaction from the hose is quite powerful. If you let it go, the, the nozzle just sways about all over the place, so you've got to be careful with that. 
as you can see, it's, the nozzle is quite powerful and it really blasts the water off the dashboard area. Here it is really good is in, on the switch gear. So normally, bit, if you're trying to dry that with a chamois or a microfiber cloth, you never get them dry. The air just blasts all the water out of those nooks and crannies. It's superb. Once you're in the, the engine area, that's where it really shines. There's so many nooks and crannies in there, you just can't get in there. Whereas the nozzle just blasts the water out there and makes a pretty good job of drying the whole engine. There's just no other way of doing it. It's impossible in any other way. And with the hose extending out to the length it does, it makes it really easy. You don't have to move the dryer around at all. It can just sit in the same position all the time. And there's plenty of length in the hose to get all the way around the bike. It's just so, so easy. Around about all the suspension components and the brake calipers, etc. Areas that you don't want, really want water left on, it really blasts it all out. the front calipers etc as well and all the and drying the brake discs off and the wheels. Yep, perfect job. Well, that didn't take very long actually. It made it so much easier. Anybody who's got an adventure bike knows that to washing it's not quite easy. Trying to dry it is an absolute nightmare. There's so many nooks and crannies that you just can't get into. And you don't really want the water to, to lie on the bike for any length of time. So to me, this is an absolute game changer. Actually, it's worked so much better than I actually ever thought. Uh, what I would do now with the bike, I would actually just put on the side stand, let any other water that might be lying in there to run out. Fire the engine up and let it, the heat from the engine dry off the engine components. And then once the bike is fully dried and, and cold, we've, back in the garage and then I, I always spray the engine area with a good coating of uh, GT85 and that protects the engine and makes it comes up like new. So that's it, the Brule bike dryer. I'm actually very happy with my purchase, I think it works really brilliantly, so easy to use and even in bad weather, you don't really want to wash to clean the bike. It's cold, it's miserable. Um, but you also don't want to leave it dirty. What I've found is when you come back from a ride, without, I gave, gave it a spray down with some water, sprayed on some um, muck off bike cleaner, let that sit on it for a wee while, and then just spray it, washed it, uh, hosed it off. And that takes the majority of the dirt off the bike. Uh, and then use this to, to dry it. The whole process has taken very little time. I've never, I've never even got my hands wet in the process. So it's made, although it's the bike's never as clean as doing it, a full clean, but it's, it's better than say, oh, I can't, I just don't want to do it just now. I'll bung it in the garage and it's, I'll do it another day. Um, anyway. So, yeah, the Brule 1900 brick bike dryer. Highly recommended. I uh, hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope you found it useful. And we'll catch up with you on the next one.